Today, I want us to discuss how to start a profitable e-commerce business in South Africa. So the first challenge that comes up with this, you know, uh, is trust. People are not comfortable having to order and pay online, right? But how do we fix this problem? Okay, you can do cash on delivery, but, you know, it defeats the whole purpose. The whole point you want to have an e-commerce business in the first place is, is so that you don't have to go out and, you know, be all over the road delivering things and stressing about deliveries and all that. The, the thing we love about an e-commerce business is it's easy, guys. It's a perfect side hustle business when people order and pay online. And I'm going to show you a strategy that can help fix the issue of trust, right? Because we have to ask ourselves, what is it that people have an issue with when it comes to trust? So the first thing is they believe you're going to take their money and not deliver the product. The second reason is they believe you're going to ship a faulty product or a product that does not work. And because you don't have a physical store, they are un unable to bring it back to you, right? So essentially, they are going to feel scammed. Now, we need to find a way to build up that trust because that's why Take A Lot is such a big platform because they have been able to build trust over the long long term by showing people that we are legit we do good business and we will not scam you and people are happy with them and that's why you know it's they have proven to all of us that e-commerce does work in south africa but first and foremost you have to build trust now i'm gonna introduce you to a a funnel which is i believe it's one of the best ways to build trust, but also make money in the process. So a funnel means when you think of a customer, you think of someone who's going to buy from you multiple times, not just once. So we think that's a funnel. They have to go through different stages with you. Now, the first crucial part of a funnel is what we call the front end, right? The front end is their first purchase from you. Right. And the plan with this is you want to do it at a loss. That means the price must be so good that they will buy it because they say, but it's, and also it must be low ticket. That means it must be such a cheap product that they feel like, you know, the money is not, it's not that important. Even if I lose it, even if this guy scams me out of it, I'm still cool with it. All right. And the other thing is we have to sell a product that is in demand as a front end product. And that's why we use take a lot to help us with market research and figure out what are the products that are sell what are the products that are selling well on take a lot. And this will help us to understand what to sell. And then we sell the same products at a loss because what that means, it means people want them, people love them. We look at the reviews, people love them. So why wouldn't they buy them from us? So as you can see, these are the top selling products. Um, so I decided to sell this one at one one twenty nine, right? But the other thing you need to look at, guys, is the reviews. You want to keep your reviews as high as possible, especially for your front end front end product, because this is the first interaction they have with you. If someone buys a product and it does not work well and they're not happy with it. Most people will not even attempt to return it, especially if it's a low end product. If it's a uh, if it's a low 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 cost product, low ticket product, they will not attempt to, to return it, but they will not buy from you ever again. So that means it's the final thing doesn't work now because we are hoping or we are banking on the idea that they're going to buy other things because the first product you are losing money on it. So you need to make sure that the first product you sell, it's great, it's good quality, and it will do exactly as as, the, as it promises. Right, so these are the products. So I, I always use these uh, best-selling products from Take A Lot as my front-end products, products that I sell first. And then you want to sell unique or hard-to-find products or products that are not so famous as your back-end products because then those products you can sell them at crazy crazy margins that's how you make your money back and the beauty of this strategy is how many uh, you we use the most powerful selling tool in e-commerce do you know what that is that's email email is the most powerful selling tool on e-commerce so first thing first thing we do as you can see here is 
the first thing we do here is we run TikTok ads, right? So we are assuming it will cost us 60 rands to get one person to buy through TikTok ads. So the, personally, I prefer TikTok ads. Facebook ads work better. Probably you get cheaper than this, but I, I'm, I'm tired of Facebook because they will just block your accounts for stupid reasons. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just tired of that. So I, that's why I choose to go with TikTok. But Facebook is better if you want to go Facebook. But the downside of Facebook is once you you are doing well, once things are going well, then your account gets blocked. And, you know, it's just frustrating how many times that happens. So, but with TikTok, I love it because it's consistent. I know exactly what I'm what I'm working with. And for the foreseeable, foreseeable future, I don't have to worry about getting blocked, you know, for or anything like that. So I pay 60 bucks to get a client on TikTok, right? And then I sell this product. Let's say I'm, I'm selling this product for 70 rands. It's, it's, it's at a loss, right? As you can see, the same product on, on take a lot is double the price. So there is a reason why I'm doing it that way. Okay. We sell it for 70 rands, half the price, so that people can say, man, this is a good price. 70 bucks, I can do this, you know. And we know that it's in demand because it's take a lot's best selling product. And then we charge 65 rents for shipping. Obviously what we will do is we'll say to them, let's say if they spend more than 500 bucks, we'll give them free shipping. So the way take a lot does it, it, it works well. Anything lower, the charge you shipping. If you pay, there's a threshold. If you buy over the threshold, then you get free shipping. So the income we get between uh, the item and shipping the then they pay us 135 for the item then we pay 60 rents to ship it we pay our supplier 60 rents for the for the earphones we pay tiktok 60 bucks and then at the end of the day we are losing 45 rents on every customer we get okay and the question is why would we do that because we are building we are buying trust right you give them a great deal low ticket cheap as possible so that they can put some faith in you and if you ship it as quick as possible if it works as it should now you have a customer that you can you can email forever and email costs you nothing that means now you have a customer that you can market to every week every day for free right that's amazing we can we can also you do use retargeting ads on TikTok if you feel like you know uh but that will cost you some money, which I think you can do easily because TikTok does allow you to retarget them and sell them more things. That can also work beautifully. But for, for the sake of this case study, we'll just stick to email, right? So uh, if you check out my course, guys, this is where I'll teach you how to write emails that will get attention, emails that will get opened so they can see your offers, which is totally free to do. Right. So now the second product we can sell, we, we can sell them this product uh, for one ninety nine, sixty five rand shipping. We sell it for two sixty four. We pay 60, 60 bucks to ship it. Pay our supplier one hundred five to give us the product. Our profit is fifty four rands after we've paid back the forty five rands we've lost here. Right. So if the, that means if they take us on our second offer. It pays back the loss and you make a profit of 54 rents, right? And then we then sell them another product. That means we can send them just an email. And then if they do decide to buy, okay, they pay 150 for their water bottle, 165 rents for shipping, 205 profit. We pay 60 rents to ship it, 80 bucks to, to buy the bottle. Our profit is 75 bucks, right? So now this funnel, guys, goes on forever. It does not end you can sell your drop shipping pr products easy you just you just send out emails right but remember guys if the key here is the first product if they are happy with this right they are happy with this you can now sell them more things forever right as long as it's something that they need that's why we use t uh, take a lot to let us know what's in demand and if if it's in demand and the price is right they will keep buying from you and as long as you treat them right then you always have a customer forever now think about that guys this is how you sell 
in South Africa e-commerce. And they will pay upfront without any complaints or any questions. I hope it makes sense, guys, and hopefully we'll talk again in the next video.